So, we'll discuss about the uh, first topics in fluid mechanics. So, fluid mechanics. Properties of fluids. Hydraulics is a branch of mechanics concerned with loss controlling behavior of water and liquids at rest and motion. There are subtopics in hydraulics and these are the hydrostatics, hydrokinetics, and hydrodynamics. The hydrostatics is the study of liquid at rest. The hydrokinetics is the geometry of motion of liquids without considering forces causing that motion. And the hydrodynamics, it deals with the forces exerted by or upon liquids in motion. Specific weight is equal to weight of your substance over its volume. So common specific weight values for unit weight of water is 9.79 kilonewton per cubic meter at 20 degrees Celsius and the value of 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter at 4 degrees Celsius. So the unit weight of water is maximum at 4 degrees Celsius. The density is equal to rho is equal to mass over volume. So it is known in the units kilogram per cubic meter or slug per cubic foot. Common values for density of water is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter at 4 degrees Celsius or 32.2 pounds per cubic foot and also density of water is equal to 988 kilogram per cubic meter at 20 degrees Celsius Next is the specific volume. Specific volume is equal to the reciprocal of the density or volume over its mass. So the unit is in cubic meter per kilogram. The specific gravity or the G sub S is equal to to the ratio of the density of your material over the density of your reference material or the specific weight of your object or material over the specific weight of your reference material so what is the reference material so the reference material is depending on your um, substance if this is this is a fluid then your reference material will be water this will be water so the value of specific weight of water is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter and the value of the density of water is usually it is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter and if this is not a fluid if this is gas this is fluid or solid substances yeah. and if it is not a fluid or a solid substance then your reference material will be air so The specific weight of air is 12.7 newton per cubic meter and the density is equal to 
1.29 kg per cubic meter. So, the bulk modulus of water is equal to P is equal to the change in pressure over the change in volume over its original volume. And the coefficient of compressibility is equal to the reciprocal of the bulk modulus of water. Or changing the volume over its original volume over changing P. The velocity of sound is equal to V squared is equal to the bulk modulus of over the density. The unit is in meter per second. Viscosity is the resistance to shearing stress. The specific rate of air and gases in terms of absolute pressure is equal to unit weight is equal to absolute pressure P times the G or the gravity over R or the gas constant and P in absolute is the absolute temperature. The capillary rise in tube is or the height in the capillary rise in tube is equal to H is equal to 2 times the surface tension in Newton per meter times cosine theta or the surface tension over density of water times the gravity times the gravity times the R or the radius of the tube in meter. Manometry and Pascal's Law The absolute pressure is equal to the pressure, your gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure is equal to 101.325 kPa is or equal to 760 mm Hg or equal to 760 torr and also equal to 29.92 mm Thank you for listening for our short discussion. So for queries, you can comment your questions or you can message me directly on my contacts that I gave you. I will upload a copy of this presentation or a PDF of the lectures on one of our classroom accounts. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. See you next time.